everybody, it's Chris at Oak Street Garden Shop. Let's talk plants. Today, in this area right here, I've got a ponytail palm. Now, ponytail palms, I'm gonna to talk to you about where they come from, how they grow, and how you can grow them in your home, and you know, a couple baskets and pots we put ours in. Ponytail palm's name, its real name, is Bocarnia recurvata, and it is native to Mexico. It grows on steep cliffs, nutrient deficient steep areas, rocky areas. Uh, not, it's a tough plant, you can tell by, by where it grows. So ponytail palm is not a real palm. Um, it is native, or, or uh, excuse me, it is related to agaves and asparagus, actually, which is really weird. Um, it has, and you can see with this one right here, the bulbous part of this plant, you see here that, that, that bulb right there, that actually holds moisture. Um, and then the plant comes and has the pretty leaves that look kind of like a ponytail that come out the top, hence people think it's a palm, which it, it said it's not. This has a number of different stems coming out the top of that. Uh, the growers actually prune it to make that happen at a certain point, and then it comes out with the, with the leaves at the top. So it's a really cool plant. It lives a long time. If you have one of these, um, you may actually be passing this down to maybe a daughter or a son, a grandson, who knows? You might have this for quite some time. And the way to keep it happy and to keep it for that long time is to give it plenty of light. Remember, in Mexico, it grows out in the open on steep cliffs in the sun, nutrient deficient soil. It likes to be dry in those areas. So that's the kind of uh, care you need to give this. You need to give it lots of light. Um, it grows through the summer, the spring, summer, uh, like most plants do, that's their active growing time. And that's when, uh, even though you don't want to overwater it, that's when every few weeks, every few weeks, not too often, you're going to water this, you know, well, and then let it drain out. Do not leave it in a container like this when you water to sit in water. Don't ever do that. This particular plant is susceptible to some root rot if that happens. It really needs to go dry. Uh, and go dry between watering. And in the winter, it rarely needs water. Um, this is a great plant for somebody who, you know, is it has a busy life and just, you know, has other things they wanna do. And they just want something green in a sunny room. Um, ponytail palms, uh, really pretty, pretty cool plant. We've got some big ones right now. You can see how big this pot is. It's about a, a 12, a 14 inch pot in this large basket. Um, it's in a plastic pot. A lot of times I, I really think these will do better in more of a, 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 a terracotta kind of pot, something that dries out a little faster. If it's in a sunny room and it's in a terracotta pot, then you do need to water a little bit more. It'll dry out faster. Um, but that's just paying attention to your plant. Uh, you know, pay attention to what you got, take care of it, and it'll last you a long time. These last for many, many years when they're happy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for talking plants. We'll see you soon.